me like this. Have you forgotten the autopsy report? It confirmed that Adam Camille, beat my mother to death. The only thing the autopsy report confirmed was that your mother died, if she did die, of an internal hemorrhage. It doesn't implicate Adam in any way. No, but in conjunction with my father's letter, it proves the that Adam had a motive. The only thing your father's motive. letter proves is that he hated Adam Chandler enough to want to punish him from the grave. How can you turn on me like I'm this? I'm not turning on you, sweetheart. I am trying to help you. What? By making the DA think I'm a fool? No, thank you. You're wrong about Marion. She would never hurt me. She wouldn't mean to, Stuart, but she would just the same. No, she wouldn't. And she's not some kind of a farm machine either. All right, bad image. Try tornado. She whirls into town, tearing things up, scattering lives, creating chaos. It's interesting to watch for a while. But it is frightening, and it's deadly, and it just goes on and on and on from town to town to town to town to town. You never know it's going to come back, and God help you if it does. You need a nap. What? You're getting all ex weird and excited about a really nice lady. Stuart, Marion is neither a nice or a lady. Yes, she is. Stuart, you haven't known as many people as I have. I don't have to. I can tell what kind of a person a person is just by looking them in the eye. I was hoping that I could protect you from people like Marion in your life. There is no way she can understand you the way I do. She can't appreciate you as you deserve to be appreciated. She appreciated me plenty. What about day to day? Hmm? Marion likes martinis, not lemonade. You think she's going to give up her nightclubs to curl up with a good book and a, and a cup of hot cocoa? And maybe help you hang your latest watercolor sunset in the gallery? What are the odds of that? This isn't about lemonade or hot cocoa, is it? It's about you don't think I'm smart enough for Marion. Stuart, that's... No, that, I'm not thinking that or saying that. No! Marion doesn't deserve you. You think that magic night we spent together was just because she thought I was you? You don't think I'm good enough for her? Stuart, you're too good for her! Stuart, think about Cindy. You loved her. She loved you. You were happy together. That's not fair. You know I was happiest with Cindy. Is Marion anything at all like Cindy? You and Cindy were alike. You thought alike. You had the, the same dreams, the same principles. You didn't have to pretend you were somebody else. But Cindy... She loved you for the wonderful man that you are. You know, that's the way it was, wasn't it? Just trying to look out for you. You need a lift home? No, no, I, I, mean, I got some, some stuff to do here. I mean, even before I knew his true identity, no man has ever made me feel the way I felt that night. Not one. Out of no, please don't tell me. Stuart is, is so sweet and gentle and... When I look into his eyes, I feel whole. And there's no place on earth I'd rather be than in his arms. Thank you. You know, I like him, Liza. I mean, I really like him. And he likes me. I mean, he doesn't look at me as if I were like some kind of sexual object or someone just to keep his mattress warm. I mean, I'm a real person to Stuart. Uncle Trevor must be on cloud nine. 
Haley, I'm marrying Axel. Remarrying Axel. I feel like I'm the one that's been in a coma. What did I miss? A lot. But Trevor and Tim and Amanda are all fine with it. In fact, they're throwing us the most wonderful wedding. I really want you both to come. Yeah, you could be the bridesmaid, and you and Tim can be ushers. Are you sure Uncle Trevor's okay with this? He really is. Well, in that case, how can we refuse? We'd, we'd be honored to be in your wedding. Wouldn't we, sweetheart? That's the one I picked out for you. You look pretty in it. Oh, you think so? Wow. Look, honey. Isn't this beautiful? This is my bridesmaid's gown. Haley? Honey? It's a beautiful wedding, isn't it? It's a dream. Haley, it's just a dream. My dream. No, 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 Haley, look out! Look, we'll go, but we can't be in that wedding. Mother, you haven't been with a decent, kind, unselfish man since Daddy. Stuart is not the kind of man you can hang on your trophy wall. Stuart is special. Well, of course he is special. In every possible way. Mother, I'm not talking about that. I am not talking about that, Liza, for God's sake. I haven't segued back into high school and then talking about some crush on a football player. I will not be treated like a teenager. Well, here. then don't behave like one. You know, Stuart is not the football captain. He is the most sincere man that you've been with since Daddy. All right, so what's that got to do with because this? Because you don't do sincere. You do mean and conniving and lecherous and slick. You hurt anybody who is vulnerable and trusting. I mean, you really think that, that I would hurt Stuart? You could, would, and probably have already. That's the cruelest thing you could possibly say to me at this time. Well, maybe it's something you needed to hear. The last thing in the world I would ever want to do is hurt Stuart. Right. Okay. Look, I am not a barracuda, Liza, and I'm sick and tired of everyone treating me as if I were. Mother, well, is this about some image transformation? You're going to parade Stuart around, and everybody's going to see how reformed you are? You know, of all the people in the entire world, I thought that you would be the one who could see beyond my past. But apparently you can't. Mother. Mom. Mom. What was that? That dress. I've seen it before. Well, hon, most bridesmaids' dresses look alike. We should be thankful. This one doesn't have big poof no, Haley. and frou frou. Haley, and... I saw it. I saw you wearing it. The way I saw Brooke in the gallery. You mean this is some kind of a deja vu thing? Listen to me. I saw you in that dress while I was in a coma. Same dress, same color, same, same everything. All right, listen to me. When, when you would go into these episodes and your brain activity went ballistic, well, we know that you were having that vision about Brooke in the gallery, but that was happening the same time it was actually happening. This, this vision of me in this dress is the future. I don't know what to say. Is that why you didn't want us to be in that wedding? Because your vision scared you? I saw you in this dress standing in a spotlight. And when 
I called your name, the spotlight got smaller and smaller. It was like you're being swallowed up by the darkness. I'm sorry to drop by so late. Well, I was just, just ready to, to shut everything down. Oh, oh I came by um, earlier, but uh, you weren't here. Oh, yeah, I was, I was out. Out. <laughs> out. Um, did, you, did you need something? Well, I just thought maybe, you know, we could talk. Is there something you want to talk about? Oh, I'm sorry, do you have other plans, Stuart, or...? No, not yet. Oh, well, that's great. Why don't we have a, a latte or something? What's a latte? Oh, come on, Stuart. You know what a latte is. I mean... Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't have asked if I do. I, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not up on. Oh, I, I, look, I'm sorry. I mean, there's no reason, you know, for you to know what a latte is. I mean, it's just, you know, it's uh, it's milk and, and coffee, you know. It's a stupid, yuppie fad. And I mean, you probably wouldn't have liked it anyway. Well, you're prob probably not. But I, I do hope we could maybe get together some other time, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Well, I better be going. It's late. Okay. Good night. Well, good night. Good night. What are you doing here? Yeah, it's awfully nice to see you, too. I wanted to thank you for derailing Marion. She's the last thing Stuart needs in his life right now. I'm not so sure. <laughs> you actually think they should get together? I don't know. What's come over you? She'd eat him alive, and you know it. No. No, I don't. Marianne's brainwashed you, hasn't she? No, you don't tell me how I feel. Nobody tells me how I feel, least of all you. At least not anymore. Now, if you don't mind, I'm busy. Good night, then. We honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye-bye.